What's up guys, Ahiz is here and in this lecture, I will teach you how to develop a color picker application in Android Studio. So let's check out the demo project. And now when I hit on the image, it's going to extract the RGB value and the hex value of the image that is being touched or tapped. So let's check it out quickly. This will be very helpful if you are a software developer because this is going to help solve the problem of looking for colors to use for your application here and there. So, hang up with me in this tutorial. Let's dive into it. Let's get started by creating a new project. So, hit on start a new Android Studio project. Select empty activity. Hit on next. Specify the name of your project right here. So I will call it Color Speakers. Hit on the finish button. Yep, Android Studio is building up. Successful. So let's proceed by making the necessary imports. Minimize the Android Studio. This is the color wheel image that will be used in this course. So feel free to download any color wheel of your choice on the internet. Right click, copy, go back to Android Studio. Hit on rest, right click on your drawable, hit on paste. Make sure to select the first directory. Hit on OK. Okay. Perfect. Let's check it out. Cool. Close it down. Go back to activity underscore main dot XML. So right now we will start designing our layout. Stretch it to the left and then place your mouse right here. Hit on the enter key on your keyboard. We don't need a constraint layout. Highlight, wipe it off. All we need right here is a linear layout. Set the orientation property to vertical. Get rid of the test view. We need an image view to display the color wheel image. Image view. The layout width is 400 dp. The layout height is 350 dp. Let's display the image. SRC, add, drawable, splash, the name of the color wheel image. Color IMG. Hit on the forward slash on your keyboard to close it up. Let's specify the ID of this image view. ID at ID slash and I will call it color pickers. Beautiful. Next we need a test view to display the RGB value and the hex value of the extracted color when the image is touched. So I'm going to do test view. The layout width is wrap content and the layout height is wrap content. The test hex backslash n RGB. The backslash n will help create a new line. All right, so when the hex value is displayed, uh, the RGB value would be displayed on the new line with the help of the backslash N. Teaching good, smash the like button. The layered gravity, center. The test size, 24 SP. Hit on the forward slash to close it up. Specify the ID of this test view. 
id at plus id slash display values lastly we need a view to display the extracted color the layout width is match parent and the layout height is 200 dp hit on your four slash to close it up and we have to specify the id right here id at plus id slash display colors beautiful so right now we are done with the layout let's proceed with the implementation of the code oh if you haven't subscribed to this channel do all by smashing the subscribe button open up the main activity.java this is where we will implement our code the first thing we're going to do right here is to define our views image view semicolon to terminate it we have the test view and I will call it M color values lastly we have the view and I will call it M color views semicolon to terminate it oh alternate enter on your keyboard to import view let's initialize an onCreate method img view equal find view by id r dot id dot the id of the image view which is color pickers semicolon to terminate it i'm gonna do M color values equal find view by id r dot id dot display values lastly i'm gonna do m color views equal find view by id r dot id dot display colors scroll up to the class scope and declare a bitmap object reference bitmap and i will call it bitmap semicolon to terminate it so right here we just have to set the drawing catch enabled to true img view dot set drawing catch enabled to true and as well img view dot build drawing card and as well set it to true let's set the untouched listener for the image so the image will be touchable when the users move their fingers on it img view dot set untouched listener new view okay you just have to select this method right here get rid of this if events dot get action is equal motion event dot action down Event dot get action equal motion event dot action move cool open and close curly bracket so right here I'm gonna do bitmap equal img view dot get drawn catch semicolon to terminate it. We are gonna have a variable right here in pixels 
equal bitmap dot we have to call a method get pixels open and close parentheses and I'm gonna do int outside this parentheses we are gonna have event dot get x comma open and close parentheses int event dot get y semicolon to terminate it having done this we have to get the RGB values of the specific color when the image is touched so right here I'm going to do int r which stands for red equal color dot red taking pixel int g equal color dot green taking pixels as well semicolon to terminate it and I just have to copy paste it down here change it to B and right here it's gonna be blue let's get the hex value of the specific color when touched string hex equal plus sign right here integer dot to hex string taking pixels semicolon to terminate it now we are done getting the values we have to display it to the users so I'm gonna do m color views dot set background color I'm gonna do color dot rgb open and close parentheses r comma g comma b with the help of the test view we have to display the rgb value and the hex value m color values dot set test um, right here we have rgb R comma G comma and we have B so this will help uh, display the RGB value and then if we want to display the hex value we have to create a new line so to do that, we have to make use of the backslash n. And I'm going to do hex. All right. Outside here, plus sign, taking hex. And this method is going to return true. Semicolon to terminate it. Friends, we are having error somewhere. So here is the error check it out okay so this is supposed to be background color the error is gone let's run our application to see what we have on board hit on the image to check it out At this point, everything is working perfectly fine. So, if this video helped you, do well by smashing the like button right now to help me inform YouTube that my video was indeed helpful. Shalom.